is my only ass. I might be the king of the north. But these are the kings of the hood, my buddies. Don Dresden, Erosy. The hood fellas. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. It's that uh, time that nobody was waiting for because nobody gave a fuck. Yeah. Um, but in time, I guarantee you will. Yeah. Or chances are no. No need for radio voice. Let's do this. And who the hey, now that you made it to the White Guys Podcast. So this is called the White Guys Podcast. This is the first time we're doing this, so... Uh, we're going to just kind of talk about whatever. We're basically... Bear with let, us. Let me put you in a pr- perspective where you can see or visualize what's going on. We're sitting down here with <laughs> a lot of beer. Gonna, gonna it's talk. smoky <laughs> as hell. It's, it's, and the reason it's called Wide Guys is because we fat as hell. And, uh, <laughs> but somehow we still get it done. And, uh, We're so fucking close together right now, our guts are touching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is almost a circle jerk going yeah. on. So. so, anyway, without further ado, and did you just spill a beer? No, I'm driving my phone. Oh, fuck. Oh. Almost just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, my name is. I know radio voices in this motherfucker. John okay? Drizzle. <laughs> Straight from your mama's drizzle. Yeah. Oh. That was a close one. I almost spelled it again. Oh, yeah. I'm Air... Um, um, Air... 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 Well, I'm that other guy that raps on stage with him. So. The other white guy. Anyway, I am John Dresden. You're here with Air O.C. right now. You listen to Wide Guys Podcast right now. We have actually a special guest here with us tonight, too. So, to make things extra special, I want to introduce him to you right now. He is the king of bargaining for a P.O. The king of... You want to do 45 minutes? Oh, that's too generous. <laughs> the king of... Oh, you want me to do a workshop? Pay me extra early Todd. <laughs> he is actually the king of Transcona. We are sitting here live right now with the one they call the human wrecking machine. Chevy Chevy in the way Chevy. I say in the Wayne Stanton. Yes. <laughs> Does it look like a wrecking you, machine? You know, I know. I look like a fucking. He's a human like a wrecking, wrecking ball. ball. Yeah. <laughs> a human, a, a, a human beer drinking machine. Oh, like. fuck it, right? So basically, hey. what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna ask them some questions. And uh, but before we get to that, I was thinking maybe we can ask um, Arrow well, C. I, yeah, like you guys, you guys, you guys need a little bit of a, a backstory. Like you guys need, you know. I want to ask Arrow C. What's what's your bring up? Like, like what what you come up in? I was born. Did <laughs> you exist? You like, 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 like plopped out. <laughs> so yeah, I got size thirteen feet. And did a fucking somersault, man. You know. <laughs> and, uh, did the Red River jiggle, <laughs> <that> bitch? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> mom. <laughs> no, ridiculously, the truth is, a lot of people didn't expect Dresden and Arrow C to link up. Yeah, like the thing is. It is, it's so ironic and, and so insane and so many of those because we've done so many shows together. Yeah. And uh, he was always just the, the young kid that was there. Fuck, I'm what, out of smokes. Rock. <laughs> what a <laughs> great... Already? Movie. Yeah. The <laughs> fuck I'm sharing with you? What the fuck are you talking about? Right, in the middle of a cigarette argument. <laughs> but yeah, you were saying? We're going to take some bottles in. <laughs> <laughs> Gather the empties. We need a king. No, I just we, <laughs> we need some cigarettes. To me, I, I don't know what his side is. Maybe he could tell me his side on that. But Sorry. to me, doing all the CFR shows, the all ages shows, and stuff like that, he he rapped way before I did. So I was just a young pup. Yeah, for him to always be hanging out at these shows that I was, a lot of them I was promoting myself. <laughs> It's it's so weird that we we end up making great great music together, and it's 
it's weird how things turn out like that. I don't know how you felt, how you feel about that, but... I don't know, things just fall into place and I fucking wing it, man. Are you just fat and we like wings and yeah. beer and it just... That's why we wing it, because we like wings. So, Dresden. <laughs> I know, I, like... I know you so earlier earlier on in your career you did uh independent math wrestling. Math. <laughs> math. Math. No math. Yeah, There's yeah, no yeah. math involved. <laughs> Holy shit. You did Why you put my business in the street? Yeah. <laughs> you did independent wrestling. So yeah. let me tell you like how did you transition from like independent wrestling into the rap game? You got fat. Just kidding. <laughs> I was part of it. That was, <laughs> that was definitely that was part bullshit. of it. That, yeah. was, that was definitely part of it. No, it was. Um, this room's so sweaty. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, so we're, we're, we're sitting on white leather sofas. And I'm sitting on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> and every time we sit up and stand up and sit down, you see brown marks <laughs> on the white leather. You can see, like, you, can, you know when it's really hot in the desert and you see a mirage? It's like, <laughs> it's like that's, our, that's our body. That's our body. Yeah. Our body right now. Is that like that's a, a mirage? Is that like, that's like a full 2 4 over there. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Like, no. Sick. Um, two, full 2 4. <laughs> I, I tore my rotator cuff. And um, I could I, I did a lot of tours, as you know, which you you brought me on a lot of anyway. Which you opened a lot of doors for me, but um, I tore my rotator cuff, and uh, I didn't have anything to do with my life, so I just kind of drank it away, as I still do. <laughs> so, but like, now it has purpose along with the drinking. So I mean, it's still it's, it's still a feasible livable entity which is called John's life okay. so yeah yeah it, 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 in so many ways I just the how I came into it is rap is so similar to wrestling yeah it's entertainment yeah. same with comedians yeah same with radio hosts yeah so I just kind of fell no, into it. Being a rapper, you have to actually be a human being to do that shit. Because like being an independent wrestler, oh, fuck, I'm not you a human throw, being. You gotta throw everything. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta throw everything at the wayside. The way you think, the way that we are built to be like, just fucking like throw shit to the wayside. That's the way. Like, you know, you said yourself. The, like the, STDs yeah, yeah, yeah. and prophylactics <laughs> yeah. are involved. Yeah. You, know, you can't be caught off the train. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't no you. wrestler, but I'm throwing my head through some walls and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of walls? <laughs> you know. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I fell so well into it because it's you know, the business that I already understood. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll be like that little guy who was scared to go out. They made, they made me wear motherfucking spandex. They're like, get out there. I'm like, I'm in the city. Why are both of my nuts on one side? <laughs> That's why I didn't give a fuck after a while. I was like, who cares? Just get out there and then they, they, they push you through the curtain. So... Once, get out there. You once you're in a job, it doesn't fucking matter. Once, you, <laughs> once, once you're already out there, it doesn't even make a big difference. <laughs> so when I started rapping, I didn't give a fuck. Are you not entertained? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going. Yeah, big Yanni over here. I thought about a yawn, and you know it's contagious. Yeah. <laughs> I already asked you. You could give us a fucking pretty cool backstory, but you're just like, oh, I fucking was born <laughs> and I grew up. Yeah. Oh, yes, motherfucker. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I like to remain a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> You'll figure me out eventually. <laughs> He's a strange animal. He's got to follow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm like sitting at dick level. Anyway, <laughs> well, he asked me some. Aside from that, everybody knows where the fuck you guys came from. What the fuck about me? What about you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fucking guest Give here. A fuck. I'm a fucking guest here, you little assholes. <laughs> Let me guess, you came from your mom. I did. <laughs> In the words of Lance Storm, can I be serious for a second? <laughs> Let me be serious for a second. Holy You've God. had your second. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, Kevy Chevy. This is 
I know most of it. I don't know all of it. I know none of the it. The listeners right now don't know. They all don't, of it. but they don't know. Yeah. So let's change that. How exactly did you? I know you obviously Who's just you? just like any other kid watched wrestling yeah. and seen all. If anyone, if anyone hasn't seen it, go watch the do, the the short documentary, Kevy Chevy the Wrestler. I'm telling you, that's great. Yeah. And he chews an apple and throws it on the ground. Yeah. That's like the highlight. And there's the a thing. The thing was, uh, there's a backstory to that. But like, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I think it involves Carlito. I remember that. But aside from that, like, when did you break in? What? Who brought you in? Is what I'm saying. I guess. Oh yeah, I brought myself in. I came down to fucking Teddy Bob's Bar and Grill on fucking Logan and Arlington. The, the fucking stock. The fucking stock. This Ooh. guy knows the fucking stock. <laughs> I went down to the fucking stock. You weren't buying perks? You were just there to no, wrestle? I, I was there to wrestle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 18-year-old Kevin Chevy, fresh out of fucking high school, graduated. I was just like, ah, man, I gotta fucking find some wrestling. You didn't so, think about being a doctor, a lawyer, no, a fuck that shit. They can suck my cock. Fuck. <laughs> I wanted to be a tap. I, I had a couple doctors suck my cock actually, so that's okay. Like, that's okay. Doctors? Yeah, like, doctors. Male like, doctors. No, yeah, because he said that's okay. Doctors. He said that's okay. I said that's okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, you guys are right. fucking twisted. You, you guys, you guys are gay. Yeah. You guys are gay. No, 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 there's anything wrong with that, but. <laughs> So I, up, so I show up at fucking uh, the Stock ho- Exchange Hotel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I do my training there, blah, blah, blah. I get beat up by Buddy Weiser and Big Cliff Corleone. And, you know, at least Cliff, Cliff had the decency to fucking actually try to show me shit. So I was like, oh, okay, cool, man. Thank you. And he was fucking showing me things. And like, other than him... Everybody was just trying to beat me up to get me out of the business. They're like, oh, we'll kick the shit out of this. They're trying to weed guy. you out. Yeah, yeah, we'll kick the shit out of him and we'll fucking bounce. Because I was more agile, I was more athletic, I could do fucking cooler shit than they can do. They could all fucking oh. go suck my ass. At that time, I was fucking, I was a big fuck hot cock. Pass me a beer, hot cock. I will. That sounded raunchy. Cockadoo! Make the dude! Eddie Cockadoo! <laughs> so, Eater, after that, all of that bullshit, after fucking I went through RCW Rear City Wrestling, shout out Wayne Stanton. Doot doot. But, um. Well, uh. Well, well, uh, I guess you gotta fucking like. Uh, fuck a bitch, I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Wayne, you fucking take a walk. <laughs> So anyways, I do RCW, I do that bullshit, um, I go to PCW, and PCW is where I fucking try to hone my skill, and I start getting more, uh, better. I get better in PCW. Shout out PCW, Premier It's weird how you said better, but it sounded like better at the same yeah, time. I got better. I got better. Better! Hot better. <laughs> <laughs> Friday Grease. <laughs> so after that, fucking blah blah blah. I did AWE, WFX, and then all that bullshit. I fucking, I was fucking. None like, of them are lucrative. None of them are lucrative. They all fucking went defunct. <laughs> <laughs> because you know who was in in charge of that shit? Because I'm involved. Mike Davidson, and he fucking buried everything. And he got all, everything all fucked up. I slapped Mike Davidson. I heard fucking... he sent a picture of his cock to Sabrina. And, oh, yeah. And it was pretty tiny. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't nothing to boast tiny about. Tiny cock. Ooh. Anyways, I slapped him out in fucking uh, Teaser's parking lot. Open hand slap. I was like, this is open hand slap, motherfucker. Psh. Oh, you gave, him. you gave him the old fucking... Yeah, uh... like a bitch slap. I smacked the shit out of him. He was like... Ugh. He's like, bang! He's like... Ugh. He falls down. Not... And I was gonna get on top of him and just start jumping on his head, like fucking do a Red River jig all over his fucking face. <laughs> and fucking... You know who saves him? Gangrel and fucking Zach Mercury. 
Shout out, Dave. Shout, shout out, Dave. I love you. I love you, gay girl. <laughs> the asylum looks pretty cool. <laughs> Look him up. Yeah, but they said. But fuck yeah. And then after that. It's just fucking like, David Schultz, Mike Davidson. <laughs> fucking stripper parking lot. <laughs> that's, pretty, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mike Davidson just smacked him in the mouth like a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, before we release this. <laughs> So you had to throw your basically you had to throw your weight around and show him that you know I don't give a fuck I'm here to work yeah you you fucking because he didn't want to pay me man he didn't want to fucking pay me money that I was owed to wrestling like fuck you pay me you know what's the worst thing is rappers that are actually talented that don't get paid right (laughs) who be out here paying promoters fucking lighting bills and shit. Electric bills. And then, and then hey, you want to sell some tickets? I'm surprised there are good fucking venues like, that's, that will That's work. worse than Danny Duggan, but Danny, like, Danny Duggan, hey, at least some... Danny Duggan will throw you fucking 20 bucks at the end of a fucking and rookie show. Here's a spot and a here bag of chips. Spot. And, a, and spot. a bag of chips. I got paid, I got paid in DVDs at one point. Christ. And then I said, oh, I wanted my collection of whatever matches I was on. <laughs> Uh, it'll be 20 bucks. Suck my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Rob, I love you. You're a good man, and you can throw a hell of a forearm. He's lying. What the fuck? He's <laughs> lying. a cunt. I'm out of darts. Great. Well, I thought he gave you darts. I smoked them. Oh, you little slut. <sighs> so, basically, you got it like that. After that, well, you, you were, were, but you were Max you were Black. Black. Yeah, I was Max Black. What was your name before? Oh, first I was Johnny Molson. Shut <laughs> <laughs> the fuck up. Fuck you. you I was nowhere in his shitty names. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Yeah. Yeah, shit, yeah, they they have kitty yeah. litter called Johnny Cakes. The thing is, what, what 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 the promoter had in mind was, oh, we have a guy named Buddy Weiser. Let's team up with Johnny Molson, and we'll have a fucking Aboriginal Johnny Molson Buddy Weiser tag team. Oh, yeah, and I was like, fuck you. Let's just show fuck the world you. how much Aboriginals. Yeah. Are yeah. How, how, how much Aboriginals suck cuck. I was like. Fuck you, man. I'm not fucking doing this shit. Indigenous. I did, indigenous. I did. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I was Johnny Molson. As we're drinking yeah. and all Aboriginal. Yeah. <laughs> I did. The buddy. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's did, none the wiser. I did, I did one show as Johnny Molson. And I wore a mask. So then I took a big bump. Uh, it was like a bow roll, roll rumble bullshit. I took a big bump through off the off off the apron through the tables at Teddy Bob's and smashed a bunch of glasses. Almost killed this old lady. <laughs> <laughs> so then everybody's like, oh, hey, "What the fuck's going on?" I was like, "Yeah, nothing." So after that happened, and then uh, I kind of sat out for a couple months because people were like, "Oh, this fucking crazy Johnny Molson dude, blah blah blah, he's gonna fucking kill people." And then after that, uh, Big Cliff Carleone and his old lady Daisy, yeah, Andrea, That's they came up, they, yeah, 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 they came up with an idea of being like, Cliff's "Oh, a good dude, right? yeah, Cliff and his old lady are like, let's call Max Black." He'll he'll wear face paint and be like ominous. So for the first, oh, so hold on, you wore face paint. I wore face paint for the first fucking show I did as Max Black. I did wear face paint. So you can't hate that. I'm not. I'm not fucking hate. I never fucking hated on you. What the fuck are you talking about? I know. I'm, but, but I'm for, fucking for, with yeah. you. But for the first fucking match I wrestled ever, I wore face paint because it's like Max Black. I was supposed to be this ominous character. Did you? Did you go in blackface? No. Well, weak. <laughs> we go. Up. It was like it was like it was, it was like my face like it was like horns and bullshit. It's like oh, was it really? Yeah, now? it was. Yeah. Okay, yeah. see now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> so I come on, I do that fucking. I, fuck off. I come out, I do that bullshit, I come out and. Sounds a lot like, like this uh, one wrestler, uh, John Drizzy. <laughs> <laughs> so I come out and I do this bullshit. And it's like, laddie daddy, we like to party. 
So boom, boom, boom. I do that bullshit for fucking like uh, I don't even. I wear a face paint once. So <laughs> after, after that, it was just like fucking like. Uh, I do my show. I wrestle as Max Black one time with the fucking face with the fucking like face paint and bullshit. Yeah. And then we we get we get. Uh, Are you like off. sting halfway through the match? How you were making? Oh yeah, it's it like <laughs> it's sting. So. <laughs> That's after, it! Yeah. It's a Yeti! <laughs> so after that, I don't wear the face paint. Like, I only wear the face paint once. Because they're like, oh, paint your face black. It looks super fucking cool. And then nowadays, they would have just called you a racist. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They'd be like, fucking Max Black guy, man. It's yeah, fucking, he's fucking Max Black. black face. Yeah. How the fuck do you think I felt for the whole fucking half of my wrestling game? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, all right. So... so that, that's pretty interesting fucking story, yeah. man. I, see, I didn't know that about Max Black. <laughs> you see, you learn something every Fuck day. You. So, after when I was doing the Max Black gimmick, I used to be like a cocky cockhole. So I just, like, <laughs> da- I just like dance around and be like a dink. I'd be like, hey, fuck yeah, I'm fucking Max Black. <laughs> and then fucking uh, uh, after that, uh, I, I, I came on to the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You should have went over. Yeah. You should have. You should put on a sumo wrestler persona. Oh fuck no! Wear a I, diaper. I wore. Uh, <laughs> no, I wore fucking like a pineapple. Fucking like. <laughs> Like, like, pineapple, pineapple pants and like bright yellow fucking top. Looking like Carly. Yeah, Carly. yeah, yeah. And it's so funny you yeah. crush up that apple yeah. after. Yeah. <laughs> I look like a piece of shit, so I was just like, look at me. Yeah. I'm fucking Kevin Chibi. This matches my persona. <laughs> so, so, uh, so after that, I became a big sexy beast with AJ Sanchez. And then we fucking just took over Winnipeg Wrestling because we're fucking. I have those DVDs still, so yeah. we're floating. So around. you go as a big sexy beast? No, oh, I well, let's say BSB because they're heels because they're Backstreet Boys. <laughs> so that's an easy go to for them. They're like, yeah. Backstreet Boys, Backstreet Boys, suck my bare ass, fuck Backstreet Boys, suck my bare Backstreet ass. Yes, Neil. so there's these these, these rappers that I like the uh, signature. <laughs> So, <laughs> Filthy Animals, aside from me and Arrow C, we, me and Arrow C will sit there and watch Attitude Pop on YouTube till, I'll have them watching it till five in the morning. What can you tell us about, like, like how did, uh, aside from when... Oh, that's his uncle. Well, I know that's that. Bears. How did you guys start clicking? Like, hey, like seriously, like, I met uh, Peanutty's cousin at the Palmino. Because, like, the fucking glory of the internet, I fucking, uh, I just, like, post, like, country music and shit like that and fucking songs and shit. Did you wear a cowboy hat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just or cowboy re- Religiously? Yeah. <laughs> and then his cousin would be like, fuck, man. And he'd be like, shoot his me. His cousin would be like, fuck, man. Yeah. And well, he wants to shoot me, like, country music. And he's like, listen to this tune. It's good, bro. So we go back and forth. Like, who, who co- what cousin is uh, that? Stink. They call him Stink, but his name's Christian Janai. Oh, I thought yeah. you meant Stank. Uh, Stank. Stank. I, Stank. I thought I thought you meant the, the gentleman Stank? that, that no, passed away. Like, he's a shit. No, no, that's Ken G. Ken G. Yeah, Ken G. Yeah. Rest in, R. Rest in, rest in power. Man. Power up, KG. Very nice, brother. That's... But anyway, but, yeah. yeah. So uh, I fucking met his cousin. Fucking hung out with them. Uh, party with Stink and Harlow and we fucking uh, we just like party it up and then all of a sudden they introduced me when I was fucking like just like fucking we were all fucked up he's like hey man there's uh, my cousin's Peanutty and I was like I don't know who the fuck Peanutty is and then fucking all of a sudden Gold like, dust. I, yeah Peanutty Goldust so we I end up meeting him and then and then we just kind of like Peanutty Goldust and I just kind of like looked at each other's eyes and we kind of like Lock it. Lock it. Just a straight bromance. Yeah, we're like, you're cool. Yeah. <laughs> you're cool. And then he's like, he's like, and then I was like, you're cool. <laughs> but it ain't wrong. <laughs> so we end up hanging out. I hang out with fucking Nutty for like almost a year. <laughs> and then I was, he's like, hey, I'm part of this rap group. It's what it's called DK. And I was like, yeah, I like DK too now. So fucking, I end up go, hang out, <laughs> I end up hanging out with Bear and fucking like Bear's like real sketchy about me because I'm Aboriginal and I'm a little greasy, but <laughs> I'm a little greasy. You but, know I never collect that from him because he's he's 
He's a filthy animal. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I That's never crazy. Know that. <laughs> I got bear. weird vibes from Brobs, though. Yeah. I play hockey with Bear all the time, like NHL 19 on and it, oh, I thought on, I, 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 I was almost going to say, you guys are some fucking big guys. How do you play hockey? Yeah. yeah. I'm all I, that. I used to play hockey. I'm all that. I'm yeah. all that. I'm all that. I'm all that. WWE I used to play hockey in high school. Fuck you. That's, yeah. Actually, it's, it's pretty, pretty fucking hot in here. Why is your head so round? Because I'm a big <laughs> Aboriginal <laughs> Indian. <laughs> Big buffle head. <laughs> I actually got called buffle head when I was starting out wrestling. And this fucking guy named fucking Massive Damage, you fucking cunt. What's wrong with Massive Damage going on there? I don't know. Fuck. He's just like being fuck existing in fucking Edmonton, being a goof. Oh, God, bro. Fuck that guy. <laughs> so what are you saying about fucking Massive Damage? He called my house. About, what? About backyarding from Edmonton. Really? He's like, Johnny, Any more beers? Johnny Destin. Yeah. Johnny Destiny. <sighs> Destiny. <laughs> Destiny's child. Johnny Destiny. <laughs> what does that mean? Johnny Depp. I was like, what? Uh, like, don't you take this business seriously? Cheech train you, right? Why well, it was at the time. Well, why are you back yarding? Who the fuck and why the fuck and how the fuck you get my number? <laughs> I don't know. I was, you know, I, I never, I, I know Massive, uh, but I've never, like, I don't know him on a personal level. So, eh. So, what, eh. what's your, what's your quarrels with him? What my quarrels he, he thought I stole Steve Rivers' breakfast one morning. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are beefing <laughs> over a fucking plate of that's, food. Yeah, that's yeah, some yeah. fucking real fat guy oh, shit. Oh, okay. yeah. that is fat guy shit. Is he fat too? <laughs> so, no, he's not fat. He's jacked. Maybe he's that's why jacked, he's jacked, but he's got a gut still. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's mad. So what the fuck happened? Food. What, what happened? Oh, God. What happened was... I fucking... I ordered, I, ordered, I ordered the same shit Steve Rivers ordered. So fucking big giddy bam, boom. And all of a sudden, they're like, Chevy... And I get up, I grab my fucking plate of food, and it's the same fucking order that Steve Rivers ordered. So he's like, I take my plate of food, and I go sit down, and all of a sudden I hear, Heat! Heat! And I was like, what? I was like, heat. I was like, yeah. But this, uh, I'm fairly new, so I don't give a fuck. So I'm like, okay, cool. I eat my fucking plate of fucking eggs and fucking whatever bacon bullshit and then Steve Rivers gets his food and he eats it and then all of a sudden there's like heat heat I'm like why is everyone so retarded in Alberta because they're aside, fucking stupid aside man. from Bobby Sharp well I love you Bobby Sharp I love you Bobby Sharp go 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 Sharp <laughs> but give me that little boy pussy <laughs> A bussy. Bussy. <laughs> yeah, give me that little boy bussy. Is, but, that, is that a bushy pussy? Bussy. No, a boy pussy. Back a pussy. pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Play the food. Yeah, over play the food. <laughs> he tried to stretch you out. Yeah. But he did. Oh. All right. Kid, kids from Winnipeg, Manitoba, stay away from wrestling lo- locker rooms. It is a lot worse than the drug game. Yeah. You'll get in trouble over a plate of food. <laughs> and you'll get stretched out. Yeah. Very. Your anus or your arms or like. <laughs> What's your problem? thoughts on AEW? I think it's good, man. It's good. Because it creates an alternative. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when I watch it and I see highlights and shit on YouTube, the arena is <laughs> packed like <laughs> a WWE program. Yeah. And when you look at SmackDown, especially when they put the... I showed him this, and he was like, yo, they <laughs> They put a big black curtain there and put all the fans on one side. Yo, <laughs> you, you, you guys turning into TNA Impact really quick. Yeah. I got to start booking smaller arenas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the, thing, the thing is with that, it's like... I'll, like... Ring of Honor, they fuck it. They they they, they thrive. Say, yeah, they thrive. Fuck they man, my sweat is sweating for fuck's yeah. sake. <laughs> it's pretty hot in here actually. Look around my eyes, man. Looks like I just fucking finished crying. <laughs> uh huh. Oh. some hot sauce. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
such a thriving industry. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm interested in watching yeah. more of AEW. Yeah, AEW is pretty solid. I think like, we've been on for about 25 minutes. Now. Yeah, yeah, we, that's we, it. We almost done then. Oh, I'll ask this motherfucker a question because every time we try to ask him to ask a question, you try to. Well, you need some input. I'm the motherfucker that just throws in my two cents here and there, and it's always hilarious. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. You, you gotta be in there, though. I am in there. Where? Ask. Under there? Yeah. Under there? Underwear. Yeah. Underwear. Yeah. 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 Got him! <laughs> <laughs> Are you butthole? Oh Put yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah so, hey, yeah. Let's talk about that for the last five minutes. So about that twisted. Team. Yeah, those fucking past two days has been crazy for me. Yeah. But the twisted show is the upside. That's me. You my... you connected with Gmo Ski. Yeah. That's a beautiful day. That's fucking solid. Yeah. So, okay, I got to kick it with him for like fucking. We ain't gonna set. Back it's it's not like it's set in stone yeah. or anything like that. But Arrow C and Gmo Ski. Is a possibility. <laughs> yeah, that's what I just gotta connect. Like. You connected with his manager, right? So yeah, I just yeah, gotta get yeah. a price going and uh, see yeah. how that works out. Definitely. And uh, I said some. St- the, the funny part is, and I told Chevy this from the get go too. I said, he said, uh, "What's your Chevy's Facebook?" And I said, uh, you go here. I'm not going to put it on blast. Yeah. Right <laughs> you fucking scum. Yeah. You rebel scum. scum. <laughs> uh, so he calls him. And he goes, hey, will you check if uh, Bear and Nutty would be willing to switch sets? I'm like, I'm telling you, bro. They're not going to. No. No, they're veterans in the scene now. Yeah, they do. And, then, and he's like. Uh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> but what was nice, shout out to George, and also shout out to Corey from Park Theater. We showed up late. We had a whole bunch of bullshit going on, including a flat tire. Lost money. Including loss of $1,000. <laughs> it was a wild day, but they let us go on and rock the show. And um, when we came out there, we were worried because it was like fucking... Maybe what eleven people stand there? Yeah. yeah. By the end of our set, the fucking uh, they don't call me MC Strong Voice for nothing. Yeah. yeah. We drew in a crowd. Make them know, and then everyone started coming in. And by the fourth track, it was all good. It was all gravy, man. Shit picked up quick. All fast. gravy, baby. Definitely enjoyed that performance. Yeah. That was a very good. We did have to cut a couple songs because of our. Running late there. Mm. Only two. Whatever. That ah, shit happens. The end of the day, though. It's whatever. Yeah. Whatever, At the end baby. of the day, we all wide fellas. Wide even, fellas. Even, you mean hood fellas? <laughs> we wide fellas. Wide, pod, wide podcast. Wide, podcast. Wide, wide guys. Spit on my fucking arm, guys. <laughs> Show you. Fucking didn't mean to fucking spit on you. <laughs> Suffer and suck a tash. Holy fucking shit. So, either way. This is the Wide Guys Podcast. Host Thank you for having me, Drees D's. Appreciate it. Kim Chevy, always a pleasure. Yeah. Always a good time. Always a laugh or fucking 13. <laughs> when when uh, you come through and uh, Arrow C. Arrow? 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 Peace. So, I think at the end of the day, you guys just let us know in the comment box. Throw us some likes. If you really like it, subscribe. This will be on YouTube, Facebook. We'll also and, be uh, uh, wherever else If you uh, we get some real good f- feedback, we'll continue doing these podcasts. For yeah, sure. give us your feedback. Let us know. Tell us. Tell uh, us to fucking stop if it sucked. Yeah, if it sucked, tell us to suck. Be like, be like, tell us, like, yo, go eat like a fucking, go eat Rikishi's yeah. butt. Yeah. Go take that, that thug like, off him and eat that butt as yeah. hard as you can. Fuck no, you would eat fuck. the fucking, you would eat the fucking yeah. bitch she was wearing. <laughs> Never, fuck that. First time I met Rikishi, he was holding four hot dogs. Fuck yeah, that. wearing <laughs> between his arse cheeks. So, give us some feedback. If you have any ideas for any guests that you think that would be perfect for us. Locals mostly, you, yeah, we need locals. Check then, you later. Uh, let's get it. Wide fellas. Why, why that podcast signing out? You're going to like this guy. He's a hood fella. I go home and get your fucking shine box. Motherfucker!
fucking mutt! You, you fucking piece of shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on!